Bring on the apocalypse today. We're making deadly home defense weapons. Now the shit you already got, that's free. If you can't add. The first time we talked, homemade weapons was on show 34. And today, still one of y'all's most favorite shows. We're gonna keep on going and make our homemade arsenal a little bit bigger, y'all. A lot of you love this bolt spiked mace bat that we built on 34. But said it was too heavy to swing. That's why we're gonna make a mace that's a little more lightweight. You can get your fucking swing on. You ain't gonna play tennis. Tennis requires hustle. Uh, fuck hustle. Cut that string out. That fucking... Oh, it feels good. Yeah. 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 Okay, the fucking tennis days are gone. Time to fuck up some shit. Now once your string is out, go ahead and take you some little bolts. I like these number 10 size three inches and run those right back through your racket. Nut them up. The more you spread these fuckers out, the sicker this mace will be. Oh yeah, and once you get these tightened up. <laughs> Hello, go ahead and practice your forehand on somebody's forehead. That's a much lighter mace than the paint can bucket mace. And you can equally fuck up somebody's day with this. <laughs> oh shit. This next idea is so simple. All you need is a belt and some magnets. You can use any magnet, like out of an old speaker. Those magnets are strong as fuck too. And now you got your home invasion knife belt. Let's put this thing together, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna use a combination of a zip tie and some tape. <laughs> I got three on it so far, but what you need to do is put magnets all the way around it. Well, you got lots of places for blades. I got the home invasion knife belt strapped on and ready to go. And when shit goes down, I'm just gonna run to the kitchen. And I like to go big, man. I'm taking the biggest three blades I can. Boom. Boom. That's why you need more magnets. You get more blade ups. And... Boom. <laughs> I'm loaded up. A lot of times in The Walking Dead, they go in and out. They never lose their knife. I got backup knives in case one sticks and like an old dude's zombie skull. I, I can't get it out. Back up, back up. Oh, yeah. This is a good way to greet the fucking mail, man. What's up? Get a package? What's going on? Yeah? Give me a sign of something? Yeah. <laughs> knife belt. I got a knife belt. You're always ready to throw down with a knife belt. This is the regulator. 
A lot of you probably remember it from show 34. Easily the most popular weapon we made. A lot of you made one for yourself. But let me be clear, man. You don't need a saw blade on your back to make it a fucking nasty bitch. You can find shit laying around the house. There's all kind of weapony type shit just laying there in the drawers. Look around. A bat just makes a great vehicle for any kind of nasty shit you find around the house. And now that we found some, let's cut off this handle so we can screw it right in our back. All right, now we can go ahead and put a little hole in the back, screw it right in. I'm gonna screw this in right here. Alright, now that you got your fucking brain spike in there good and tight, go ahead, take it off, try it on for size, fuck yeah man, that's a fucking IQ killer right there buddy, somebody, uh, work it, work it, paint it up. Put some stickers on it. If you really want to fuck with your friends, go ahead and pop your hole like I did down here at the end. And then when you want to, take out your spike, drop your bowl, or smoke one through your back. Fuck yeah, man. You want to die or get fucking high? I'm going to go with two. Number two option. The idea is simple, y'all. Take shit you got in the house that might go together nice to make a weapon. Ooh, hell yeah. This last weapon is grim. I call it the trauma stick. It delivers a flesh puncturing fucking shock to your soul that your fucking ancestors can feel, man. To build this, you're gonna need a wooden bat, disposable camera with a flash, about two feet of extra cord, soldering iron, and some big ass nails. You wanna grab this old disposable camera with a flash and gun it. Now that you got your camera open, you wanna go ahead and pop that battery out so you don't shock the fuck out of yourself making a weapon. Be safe! <laughs> yeah, make sure that all gets exposed. Probably got pictures of your dick from the 90s. Toss it! Now you can see inside the camera. This capacitor is what creates the charge. Just gonna fuck your assailant up. Buy a hole in your camera so you can run your wire through. Now solder these leads onto this capacitor. Now tape your camera back together. Give it a test fire and make sure she pops. Now that you got your camera taped back together, let's secure it to the back. Put it in a spot where it's easy to trigger. I'm gonna use one of these big ass zip ties to hold the camera on the back. All right, now we're gonna pop a couple pilot holes in this wooden bat for our big ass nail. Okay, now with these holes drilled, we can trim up this wire. Now with this wire stripped down, you wanna wrap that around that nail all the way till you get to the end. Now take your hammer, tap that nail on through. All right, now with both nails secure, poking through on the other side, let's tape the fuck out of this so you don't have an accidental discharge on the back side. Time to dress her up with some stickers. Hello. Wanna say it again? I want to dedicate this episode about self-defense to the men and women defending this country. Special thanks to P.F.C. Hobbs of the Army who wrote me a cool letter said him and the whole platoon was watching every Friday. Fuck yeah! What's up, guys? Last time on episode 34 when we talked homemade weapons, I featured a song from Drew and Carl. 
This is one of the most popular songs we have put up on the website. Y'all download the fuck out of it. Next week, I got a brand new one from Drew and Carl. Until then, let's look back at y'all's favorite. And see you next Friday. I got shit to do. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Let's get fucked up. Whiskey, weed, and women. I got shit to do. Whiskey, weed, and women.